What's up, guys? Wes here. So I've recently been getting into the shmup genre, or shoot 'em up shooter, horizontal shooter, vertical shooter, um, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's been around forever since kind of the dawn of video games with Space Invaders and stuff like that. But it's evolved into a myriad of different types of stuff. So you got bullet hole shooters, you got uh, more strategic, slower shooters like your R-type games and stuff. And while I've dabbled and I've played some stuff, um, one game that we're going to look at in the future is Giggle Wing, which I'm a huge fan of. I love that game. I'm not very good at it, but I love it. And I've always felt like while I've enjoyed the genre, I've not really truly appreciated it. I've not gotten good enough to really study in the same way that maybe I have for fighting games or something like that. But I want to change that. And, you know, after doing some Google foo, uh, looking around and seeing what kind of the best beginner shmup um, kind of on-ramp games there are. And there's quite a few of them, which we're going to be looking at quite a few of. But I wanted to start with this one because it's a game I actually own on Steam. I, I've actually owned it on uh, Switch for a while. Um, and it's one I've never really dove into. But from my understanding, a lot of people that know way more than I do about shmups uh, say that this is a great one to start with. It's family friendly. It has a crazy cool soundtrack. The whole thing is just vibrant and fun and to play. And you learn some good fundamentals as well. So I'm excited to jump into this journey of kind of learning shmups the same way that I've learned like real-time strategy games or fighting games. I would like to do this with this genre because there's so many games that you can play and have a blast with, especially on home consoles now. They used to be just on the arcade, but now they're everywhere. And there's such a rich history for video games in the shmup genre and all the different subgenres that they have that I thought maybe it's a good time to really start digging in and learning what makes these things tick. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to get started on our shmup journey and we're going to be playing a little game called Jamestown Plus. All right, so here we are. Um, inside Jamestown Plus, man, this is the Switch version. Uh, I'm playing it in docked mode. That way the capture card can get it. And yeah, this game is one of those that I've had for a long time. I've always heard great stuff about it. And only recently have I actually started to dig in and play it. And I can tell you, this game is pretty dope. It is truly something special. So, like I said before, I have played some uh, shmup games, whatever you want to call them, shooters, um, for a long time. Like, I like games like Radiant Silver Gun and Ikaruga, which are really difficult, but they're very different than other um, shmup style games. And then, of course, there's like R-Type and Darius and Gradius and... <laughs> You know, there's so many different genres and types. And then you get into, like, the bullet hell stuff from Cave, uh, like Death Smiles and, and all that. So, uh, Jamestown Plus always comes up as kind of a beginner-friendly game that teaches good fundamentals on the more bullet hell style side of things. Which means, basically, you have a very small hitbox. There's a whole bunch of bullets on screen. It's very pattern-based, and uh, yeah, we're just going to get playing into this. So I'm going to come in here. You're going to notice that I've played a little bit of it, but really not much. I think I've only played for about 45 minutes or so before starting the recording. And basically, we're just going to play through some of this. So the cool thing is, from my understanding, so if like we have this little world map here, I click here. Where it says difficulty normal, this is like a, every other game's easy. And then difficult is like normal. Legendary is apparently like normal plus. And then divine is like hard. So whenever they say that it is beginner friendly, they, they truly mean it. That does not mean this game is easy. <laughs> I've, I found that out the hard way too. Uh, <laughs> so 
let's just replay this in normal. One, this is going to do a number of things, kind of show you what's going on, but also uh, let me get my skills back up to where they were. It's been like three or four days since I played this. But, uh, so yeah, you see here, you can actually get a different special for your ship. I've had pretty good luck with the beam so far. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot you can do. There's an in-game shop we're gonna look at. But let's just get into it. Let's, let's figure this out. So I will say, a very creative story mode in this game. Basically, this is the New World, but the New World is not America, it's Mars. Which is pretty awesome. Um, so as you can see, this is just... Blowing stuff up, man. It's fun. Now, I will say, these are the type of games where I'm gonna get pretty quiet while I play. Oh! Um... that one uh pretty quiet while I play just <laughs> just so I can concentrate because that's the thing about these is even on easy you have to stay very aware of your surroundings or else you're gonna get into a world of trouble very very quick so I'm gonna go ahead and take care of these enemies and then I'll show you the, the laser beam oh now, on the Switch version, there is a little bit of slowdown. I do have this on PC, but the reason why I'm playing on Switch is actually that way you don't have to listen to the click, click, click of the mouse like you did in Proteus, uh, the previous episode of West vs. Backlog. I'm, oh god, um, trying to figure out the best way to get the best sound. Oh man. And the best experience for the game itself. So yeah, as you can see, there's actually, these are easy to dodge, but there's still a lot on the screen for being on, like, essentially easy mode. And these are the points that you can get up right here. And then we have our boss. Now, whenever you have the laser dispersed like this, your ship moves pretty slow. Um, so whenever you need to do some really agile work, that's whenever you can turn your laser off. All right, now, oh, okay. And then this, these are like, ah, man. It's about getting that timing right. I always mess that up, oh well. Oh, I messed that up too. So, the secret to getting good at these games, from what I gather, is really knowing your ship's uh, hitbox. So it's not the entire ship. It's basically right there in the middle. Ooh. Ooh. It is right there in the middle of the ship. So... The secret is to not, like, overcommit. Get it, get it, get it! Oh, come on! Okay. There it is. Oh, we were so close. Um... <laughs> yeah, I didn't do great on that one. But this is very much a game that the more you play it, the more it's gonna get second nature, you're gonna learn your ship, you're gonna learn... I love the old, like, what the old Wild West style <laughs> music. <laughs> um, yeah, the the more you just know your ship, the more you know... Yeah, check that out. Check out that cowboy. Doing cowboy things. So 
So we'll watch a little bit of the story so you can just get a sense of what this is. Spanish Martian forces. We heard a distant battle cry. It's all about like learning your ship, learning your ship, have it be second nature. The goal from what I understand is to have it to where you don't even need to look at your ship while you're playing the game. That you just know the feel of it, you know exactly where it is in your peripheral vision, but I'm not there yet. So that's why a game like this can be a, a blessing because it will ease you into the idea of how you need to play. And I'm a big fan of fighting games that do that, that have like good training modes and things like that, because it it helps you start to wrap your mind around how the engine of the game runs, I guess. Like, instead of trying to, um, you know, not get hit or something, maybe your goal is to get the most points. Or, you know, and there's some pro-level players of shmups that during certain games they will actually like bomb themselves because you get more points if you do it on the second life or some you know what i mean like there's a lot of nuances to these games and that's what makes them really interesting and there's so many of them and they each have their own personality that i think it's a super cool way to get some cool games that are fun to watch uh, but also fun to play and like really start learning and hopefully the lessons that we learn from here in like Jamestown Plus or I know Crimson Clover is another one brought up for a good newbie shooter. Uh, maybe learning those lessons in games like this can help you play the more difficult stuff. But let's do Dark Sector. Let's do Normal. So something interesting about this is... If you do normal mode, you can only play the first three levels, and that's it. Then it's going to, like, gatekeep you. It's going to say, hey, go back and play them on difficult, the first three levels back on difficult, and you're going you're gonna to be good enough to move forward. But yeah, even in the second... Um, remember, this is on essentially the easy mode. And it is still quite the uh, upgrade from that first level. Good lord. <laughs> okay. Alright. Oh. I'm just holding down this button. Cool. See, the cool thing about these games, I love the colors, but then after a while, if you're not really focused, the colors can start to like blend in with each other. And yeah, and then enemies turn into bullets and then like the bullets morph with the different other gold stuff and then the so it gets really tricky to kind of keep your mind clean. Oh, yes. And there's a vaunt which is how you can uh, reflect bullets, or you can basically use it as a shield. To absorb some bullets. So it seems like finding the best times to use that is also a huge thing in this game. Oh my gosh. Okay. Alright. Alright. And it's still easy. But I guess it's teaching you to vaunt. It's saying, hey, 
doofus. You don't have to dodge everything. You can take some of these shots. Lake. Oh God. Okay. So if we come up here. Positioning, but very tricky. Okay. All right. Not really hitting anything, but at this point, that's fine. That's fine. Fine. Okay. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh. Right at the right at the end too. Oh, there we go. See, it's always right before <laughs> the good kill. Using one credit. That's I'm. You know. You know. You, what are you gonna do, right? What are you gonna do? Okay. So we can hit OK. We'll watch a little more of the story, and then I'll go to the shop real quick, so I can kind of show you some of these unlockables. Virginia Dare. Yeah, the Roanoke Colony. I wonder if, you know, I turned in a book report in grade school about this version of <laughs> history, how well that would go over. See how like Spanish conquistadors on Mars. It's such a wicked idea. It's so cool. Like Alright. So um there's also a gauntlet where you can do levels back to back to back. Uh but if we look at the shop, we can actually afford like Create a ghost to fight for you and wield a long blade. Caterpie's convoyance. Oh wait, wrong button. So like laser burst beam, charge a massive blast of energy. So there's different. shot types and then there's also some challenges and we'll take a look at a challenge real quick they are very difficult well, at least right now they're very difficult let's get us this see what's going on okay so if we go to challenges you can see I did one which is survive for 15 seconds which I did get to the point requirement within 40 seconds Track down all the rings. Stave off vengeance for 60 seconds. Ugh, that sounds rough. Let's try this one. Get to the point requirement within 40 seconds. Now, I have not played, as you can see, with the little new blinking icon. I've not even opened any of these, right? And the more you do, um, at the higher skill levels, you can see you actually unlock pack number two, pack number three. So these are apparently pretty good at teaching you some more intermediate fundamentals based on your skill set of what you have already. So like pack one will lead into pack two pretty easy, and then pack two will lead into pack three, and you know, so on and so forth. So let's try this train yard siege. Get to the point requirement within 40 seconds. 
And you'll notice here, this is a four-player co-op game. So, laser, customizable, treason, speed and missiles. So which one did we get? Did we get this one? I think we did get that one. Experimental laser, a burst laser, whoa. Drop laser, or a burst laser. Let's do a burst laser. That seems cool. Ooh, spread. Whoa, look at that. Burst. Okay, you can flank. Spread. And then, oh, it goes out to the side as well. Huh. So I bet picking the right combination of weapons mixed with uh, the styles here is pretty important based on what level you're on. I bet it makes it way easier if you it's like Mega Man. If you beat the bosses in the right order, each boss after the first one gets easier and easier. You know what I mean? I wonder if there's something about that. Let's just do the spread right here. And then let's go ahead and build them. And let's see what this is. 250,000 points. Destroy the engine car last. Okay. Nope. Try again. Maybe it's not a great time to do a challenge whenever I mixed, or whenever I changed my weapon. I don't know how it works. Okay, I'm missing something. Totally missing something, because I'm not even close. So let's go to a, <laughs> let's just play another normal level. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so there's a gimmick that I'm not knowing about. But, that means... Okay, so I've beaten the first level on even on Legendary, I've beaten that one. Dark Sector. Then this one, Badlands, I've only beaten on Normal. Let's play it again on Normal, just to kind of refresh our memory. And I'm gonna use my um, regular beam, just cause I like how it, you just kind of hold down the button. And while it does slow down the ship, you still get plenty of benefit from it. Right, they have like homing. Yikes, yikes. yikes. I'm also like hugging the back of the screen. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Probably not, because those guys are, yeah, God. So many of them. 
Gotta take them out first, I bet. Ah, oh, god dang. See, there's just one. Just one. kind of like sunflower out. That's just brutal, dude. Alright, boss fight. I was doing pretty good too. Okay. See, it's always right before. Oh, I wonder if the pressure of knowing the fight's about to end just gets to me, and I'm like, oh man. Hey, I would have passed that uh, 250,000. <laughs> it took me way longer than 40 seconds though. All right. Cool. So I need to beat this one on a higher difficulty to get um, to the next one. So let's try it. I don't know how this is going to go. <laughs> I have yet to even attempt this. So yeah, I like the beam. I know it might be holding me back, but I'm a, I'm a man of, of pattern. I, uh, I like what I like, and I don't like trying new things. <laughs> no, that's not true. <laughs> uh. Oh, wait. These are going to have faster homing ones, huh? Yep. All right. All right. Maybe I just... Oh, maybe not do that, first of all. Oh yeah, I can vaunt. I completely forget that I can do that with bullets. Maybe that's my problem. This guy needs to leave me alone. This guy back here needs to not follow me. Stop it. Stop it! how I just made it through all that.
just circle them around. Oh, man. See, there's just so many of them. That's what I need to do. I need to, like, focus and take the, the homing ones out first, I think. So we'll see how well this kind of levels up. They, those red ones like beeline in a little more now. Oh, yeah, this is rough. So it looks like that boss is basically made to train you to deal with the homing stuff, right? Cool. Okay. So we should, yeah, so now we have a new level. I've never seen this level in my life, so... of the most secret of the Spanish mines. Wait, didn't we, uh... Didn't we already see that? That story right there? Oh, yes, we did. Okay. Oh, New Madrid. Here we go. Oh, wow. So there's no easy... Or normal, I guess you would call it here. Interesting. Okay. Okay. I'm I'm picking up what you're putting down. Let's try the beam. I have no idea. Ooh. Okay. No idea what these things are gonna do. Oh man, I did not do that well, huh? Yeah. See, I keep forgetting. Why do I keep forgetting I can, like, ricochet bullets? Very useful in a game that's trying to shoot you with bullets. Oh, I see. So maybe if you vaunt... 
it gets it lets you absorb a little bit that way you can get in better position to take care of more stuff I see Good lord, there's a lot going on. Okay. See, really, I think the best way to get into a good situation with these type of games is to get in that flow state where you're just sort of like reacting. fast. What are we doing? <laughs> oh, buddy. I'm gonna shoot something. Where? Oh, those four, maybe, right there? done. Oh, that's a tight squeeze. Oh my god. Okay. All right. All right. Everyone just needs oh. Everyone just needs to calm down. I know I can vaunt. I know I can hear you yelling at me through Oh, I can't anymore. I can hear you yelling at me through the uh through the YouTube. Don't worry. Don't worry. Oh my god. Sweet board. Okay. Yeah, this is uh, kind of a gauntlet right here. Okay, let me get rid of that one. Last phase, last phase, last phase. Oh my gosh. Oh man, dude. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Wait, I'm not even hitting anything. Okay. Good lord. Okay. See, I'm getting stuck in a corner. That's like probably what I need to be doing. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, we'll try again. Yeah, we'll try again. So the nice thing about Jamestown Plus, and I'm not sure if every shmup has this, but like, I can tell it's my fault. Like, yeah, you know, there's a lot of bullets. They don't make it easy. But if I would have like vaulted better or whatever, then maybe, or you know what I mean? Like, I can I can tell that it is a game I will get better at the more I play it and the more I study it. Which I like that kind of. I guess it's the reason why a lot of people really like the Dark Souls style games like Elden Ring and Blood Soul, you know, Bloodborne and all that stuff. Um, it's that. It's that self-improvement. You feel yourself getting better. You understand the game more. 
Um, but I mean, this genre has been doing it for 40 years, you know? And I do think there there is a certain sense of appreciation because of how well this genre has evolved oh, has evolved and how many games have come and gone with this style of gameplay. It is like video game history lesson, you know. Man, man, man. I keep barely just kind of over... overshooting. Like, over committing. There we go. Give me a little something. Found a nice little happy place there. Okay. So that got there. Cannot yet. Okay, got that. All right, boss fight. I feel like I'm doing a little better this time, but maybe not. But now we kind of know what to expect. So He's telling me to press it at all of the wrong times. Because there were no bullets on the screen. So I wasted it. Maybe this is one of those games where you can't trust the game either. It's going to tell you to do all the wrong things. Get it? We gonna get it? No! 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 Oh, come on! Uh, no, my dog is scratching. So now I'm. Ugh. Come on! Okay, that one. Whew. That just the dump of the the blue ones. Oh, come on. This is brutal. I don't have a vault. Oh, come on, bud. Oh, we got it. Okay, cool. Victory. Victory. Unless he's trying to pull one over on me. Okay, cool. Man. Okay, we got it. The Lone Wolf. All right. All right. Cool. So we'll see a little bit of story right here. See what's going on. It's 
purpose as dark as they come. Setting down my drink there. A manner of hidden temple. Roanoke colony in one stroke. Whatever it is he seeks in this temple. Uh oh. What's he looking for in that in that mine? So the plot thickens. To unlock level five, you must beat levels one to four on legendary or above. Oh, so it puts you through the ringer, which I guess is fine because it's like training you, you know, to kind of level up your skills and memorize the levels and kind of teaching you those mechanics of how to get good at a, a shmup. So let's see uh, what else is in the shop. Have we unlocked anything new? So we got the ghost ship, which seems pretty cool. Um, so I can either get the bomber. Let's get the ghost. So we'll do that. We'll buy that. And I think we will actually call it here. So this is a this is a fun one, man. Um, kind of a shorter episode, not quite. Um, you know, an hour. Uh, coming in about 45 minutes or so, but I appreciate games like this. I appreciate games that kind of get you started mechanically on the right foot for like an entire genre. A good fighting game example is like Gem Fighter from back in the day, like PlayStation 1 era. Um, that game was very good at kind of teaching basic fighting game mechanics, um, putting in some cool you know, jewels and gems that you collect, all that stuff. But then it's actually kind of teaching you proper blocking etiquette and, you know, parrying and all that stuff. Um, or dodging or what have you. And this game seems to be very much in that vein. So I can see why a lot of people are recommending this as a good beginner shmup. And yeah, I definitely want to play more of this. It has one of those things... It has kind of that same one more run or one more turn thing that like a civilization game does. Like, ah, I bet I can do better this next time. And then you go and do it. And then you're like, oh man, I messed that part up. Let me let me retry it. I bet I can do it better. And then you keep doing that ad nauseum for, you know, 50 hours. And then you end up mastering the game. Um, I think it's always impressive when people get to such a high skill level that you can see them just like annihilate the game and I think that would be a really cool place to get skill wise but it's a long long road of many 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 games and many years and all that stuff but shmups are really cool they're really fun to watch there's a lot of drama just inherently built in like you have to dodge while paying attention while shooting while memorizing so there's a lot going on um, but hopefully as a viewer it's a lot of fun to watch uh, and if it is trust me I have dozens and dozens of shmups that we can play um, even on my PlayStation 3 last night I got my copy of Gradius 5 and yeah there's so many that we can look at and I have a bunch of cave games uh, I have one I'm really looking forward to playing is called Mushi Hime Sama um, came out during like the uh, Xbox 360 era and I actually have it on Switch. Switch, I'll tell you what, man. Let me show you this. Um, so that is Jamestown. Let me come to the um, the main deal right here. So look at some of these. I got Ghostblade HD, Don Mako Unlimited 3, G Darius, um, the Fasara Collection. So I actually have games like Mushihime Sama and. that downloaded like blaster master so these are the ones that are all um downloaded right now but yeah i have a whole bunch that i 
can download. Um, can't remember exactly where it is, but there's a whole lot of shmups that I have. And uh, Don Maku's really cool. Manticore, I know it's not quite a shmup, but it looked really cool, and I got it for like $2 on the on the eShop. But uh, this has been Jamestown Plus. Hopefully you dig it. Let me know in the comments. Um, if you have another good recommendation for a shmup you would like to see on the channel, uh, this is just one of many uh, that we'll be making videos of. But maybe next week we might do something a little slower paced. <laughs> so we had... We had Proteus uh, last time, and then we have Jamestown Plus, which is a, it's a, it's a shmup. Um, you know, it's a beginner shmup, but it's a shmup nonetheless. So there's a lot of kind of chaos happening mentally. So maybe we can do something a little more calm next time. But if you have any requests at all, feel free to leave them in the comments. What do you think about this? What's your experience with this genre? I'd love to hear about it. But until we meet again, I'm Wes, and this has been another game checked off the backlog on Wes versus Backlog. Thank you.